Hi, I'm Jamie Lee Grace, presenter, founder of The Sober Club and author of the new book, Happy Healthy Sober. Happy International Women's Day. I would like to challenge the way women are marketed to and I believe unsupported when it comes to alcohol and over drinking. Now, let me say right off, I am totally non-judgmental because I've been there, I've got the t-shirt and without any shadow of a doubt, I've had way more than my fair share of booze over the years. Now, it's important to stress that I didn't ever have a rock bottom moment, but I was waking up at 3 a.m. hating myself and knowing that this wasn't authentic with my desire to be happy and healthy and a good mum. And we do tend to think that there are two types of drinkers, those at rock bottom who need alcohol services and everyone else, social happy drinkers who just sometimes can't hold their booze. But actually we know now that it's a spectrum, grey area drinkers is the term. And the truth is there are many shades of grey and none of them sexy. But, you know, we have been marketed to, we've been cajoled into, and we've been sober shamed into thinking that it's the done thing for us gals to drink ourselves to oblivion. Alcohol, if you think about it, is the social glue that sticks everything together from celebrations to commiserations, hen parties through to baby showers, and of course, even play dates. And I'd especially like to call out the mummy wine culture. So if you are wearing a t-shirt that says, wine on the lips, baby on the hips, pause and think about that. Alcohol is not beneficial for women. It's linked to over 200 different illnesses. It impacts negatively on the menopause, of course. And of course, it has a direct link to anxiety. And yet when women rock up to medical professionals or practitioners and say that they're concerned about anxiety, mood swings, or perhaps hormonal problems, they're almost never asked about their drinking or given the support that they might need to, to quit. By the way, I don't call it giving up. I call it ditching the booze because you seriously are not giving anything up. You are only gaining. I quit the booze over three years ago. Trust me, it is the best anti-aging secret ever. And if only someone had told me how freaking fantastic life without the booze really is. I'd also like to call out the marketing companies who link things like Mother's Day to alcohol. It's possible to celebrate without the booze. It really is. I don't want a Mother's Day card with an image of a bottle on it or any marketing materials or gifts that tell me that I deserve alcohol because I'm a woman. It isn't a treat. A woman who's had too much to drink is not valuing herself or focusing on good self-care. But you know, fortunately, the tide is turning. And if you do choose to be sober curious or a mindful drinker, you'll be in really good company, along with many amazing celebs who've ditched the booze and are loving their sobriety from Zoe Ball through Kate Moss, Jennifer Hudson, Naomi Campbell, to name just a few. So let's really look at women and their relationship with alcohol. Could there be more support and encouragement for women who choose to quit? No sober shaming. We know that alcohol is the only drug you have to justify not taking, but it's time for a change. I would love the medical profession to gen up on just how harmful alcohol is for women and the alcohol industry to stop forcing this alleged glamour of alcohol at us and the greeting cards brands and the gift brands to come up with something a little bit more innovative than a pic of a woman quaffing the booze to make us think of glamour and happiness and success. My top tip is for all women to ask themselves, could my life be better physically and emotionally without the booze? And if the answer is yes, then give yourself a challenge, gather your self-care sober toolkit and get connected because there are some amazing sober sisters. I choose to challenge.